Hi, this is Martin Chuck, and today's tip is going to be called, Would You Like Cheese On That? You know, I played a lot of pro-ams and with a lot of club golfers over the years when I've been the director of golf at some of the clubs I've been at. And everybody gets excited about that pit shot that has all that zip on it that stops close to the hole. We're going to hit a couple of those for you, and I'm going to explain how you can do that too. There's a few simple things you need to understand how to get the ball to really stop up after it you know, hits the green a couple of times. It doesn't roll over the green into the fringe. So let's take a look at how to do that. That's got some cheese on it. All right, put the brakes on. We can make that putt. Let's show you how to do that. Okay, you saw from the other angle a couple tight little pitch shots that stopped up there by the pin. What's the key to hitting a nice, crisp pitch shot? You know, I've got 40 yards here between me and that pin, and I'd like to have either something that goes in the hole, that'd be nice, or at least a very makeable putt. You know, five feet inside, that'd be great. Do I do that all the time? Absolutely not. But, you know, hitting this shot, there's a couple things I want you to understand. First off, let's keep your golf clubs clean. You know, you don't want any de debris or sediment on the face of the club. And the golf balls you play, the top line golf ball would be perfect. I play the Nike 20XIS, very spinny, playable golf ball. Now, what did I do to hit this shot? I'm going to hit a couple for you from this perspective. Again, I've got 40 yards. I'm going to fly this about 30, 35 yards, and then it's going to have lots of cheese on it. And there's a really good one. And that sucker puts the brakes on. Uh, it rolled by just a little bit. Let me try another one. But if you notice there, there's no real big divot there, is there? No, I'm not trying to take a divot. I am hitting down on a little bit. I've got a little bit of forward lean. And when I show you some face on stuff, I think you'll be amazed by this. I've got a really good radius to the golf ball. Hit one more of these here. Try to fly it 35 yards. Ah, uh, miss hit that one a little bit. That wasn't very good. Let's do another. We can do better. See if I can't get one to dive in the hole there. There's a crispy, a little to the right though. All right, put the brakes on. Okay, so let's take a forward look at that pitch shot and what I'm doing to maximize the spin so when that ball lands, it stops and doesn't roll over the green. Okay, so here we are in the face-on view of this pitch shot that everybody loves to see, that spinny pitch. I talk a lot about radius. Well, my mentor, George Knutson, taught me about radius and that the club doesn't actually rest on the ground. You know, when I set up to hit this shot, it may look like the club's on the ground, but reality is the club's always off the ground. I'm finding the comfortable length in my left arm and golf club. When I say that too, my right arm is not it's full length. My left arm is. My right arm's pretty soft. There's a little bit of bend at the elbow. So what else do you notice about this ball location? Is it way back? No, it's not. In fact, it's, it's kind of forward, and I'll explain that to you in a second. Let me go ahead and hit this little shot. We'll play a little slow-mo of this as well. There's a good one. That's got some cheese on it. That's going to stop right there. Did you notice any flicking going on? Any scooping to try to add any speed there? No. I was depending on a clean club face with grooves, a relatively clean golf ball that is, you know, of a brand that can spin, basically a top line golf ball, and then the application of the club to the ball. There's no magic in it, people, other than the fact that the, the handle has to beat the club head to the golf ball in order to catch the golf ball before you hit the ground. Now, I even have a built-in cheat mechanism on this, and I'll explain it to you. So here's my built-in cheat mechanism. You know, I've got a couple of aim sticks to, to kind of show a, a little example. You know, a lot of people like to take the golf club and play the ball well back in their stance, right? Now, if I don't hit it absolutely perfect with this lever, all I can do is stick this lever 
arm, aim sticks into the ground. So what a lot of people do when they play the ball way back is they find a way to shorten the radius a little bit because this radius, the combination of sticks and my left arm, it wants it to go well into the ground. It wants to go four or five inches below the surface of the grass. When you play the ball back this far, you better be awfully nervy because you better hit it perfect or you're going to lay the sod over the golf ball. So what I see when a lot of people play the ball back, what they do is they create room by breaking their left elbow, creating some room so they don't stick the club in the ground. So the built-in cheat I have is I use the bounce, the bounce of the golf club. You know, I'm hitting this shot with a 60 degree wedge. It's got 10 degrees of bounce on it. I'm a fan of bounce. This is a new wedge I just got. I like it. Nice and heavy. It's got some bounce on it. That ball is not played way back here, is it? Because that lever, guess what? I either hit it perfect or I stick that club in the, in the ground. I've got this ball played forward. So I find my radius, shaft and left arm. It's pretty much in an inline condition, pretty much. And I find the radius to the top of the green stuff. Now I'm gonna make a, my weight's pretty much my left foot. I'm gonna leave it there. My head still, I'm gonna sustain this radius. So I'm tapping the green stuff, sustain the radius, hold the radius. I'm holding this radius. And ladies and gentlemen out in RG world, that ball had a ton of spin on it. I'll slow it down, I'll show you how the handle's beating the club head ever so slightly. And that is just a clean strike, club face to golf ball before we touch the earth, the big ball we're standing on. That's what spins the ball. This is Martin Chuck for Revolution Golf. I hope that little tip about that sexy, spinny wedge shot helps you play better golf. Post your questions and comments down below. I'll get to as many as I can.